Hey guys, it's Katie, and we are in our final week of the spring slim down. Can you even believe how fast it's gone? Yeah, oh my so gosh, quick. you guys have been crushing it. I'm so proud of you, and I have a brand new bar boot camp inner and outer thigh workout that is going just to like tone and sculpt those thighs like you wouldn't even believe. I'm going to be using the booty bands and a few of our exercises today. And if you haven't gotten yours yet, I'm going to put the link down below in the description. They're so awesome. You can throw them in your bag, take them on the road, and they really just take your workout next level. And you guys, again, these adorable outfits. I've had so much fun doing the Spring Slim Down with Fabletics. And if you haven't signed up for their VIP program, that link will be below for you too. It's just such a good program because for $49.95, you get a full outfit, like head to toe, full outfit every single month. You don't have to do it. If there's not anything you like one month, you can save it to the next one. But like, where else can you buy an outfit for that price? So that is below for you too. Get signed up for that so you can be super cute all spring long. All right, so if you are ready to work those legs, sweat the thumbs up, give it a little click, and let's get started on the floor. All right, girls, so we are gonna start with a clam, a little modified clam. If you have the bands, you're gonna bring it around your upper thigh, or lower thigh, rather, but above the knee, just a couple of inches, on the floor. Bend your knees, bring your heels together. The key is you wanna keep your feet glued together, and you're gonna close the knees and open them up. So I'm using the medium band. This is like pretty moderate right now. If you wanna get real crazy, you can take it up to the heavy. You're not gonna be able to open quite as far, but you're still gonna feel it. So down and lift always with a resistance band. The key is to make sure you use a slow and controlled movement coming down because the band's gonna wanna pull you, but then it takes some of the work out of it. So down and open. Are you starting to feel it in that outer thigh? Those abductors, right? Yeah, so all along that outer thigh, up to the booty, giving that nice shape, up, down, and up. And the cool thing is, if you engage those muscles, you're gonna feel this in your core as well, in those obliques, yeah good but you guys are so strong you've been working so hard for four weeks this is the end of it this is your final push those three weeks those 21 days you've created the habit you've created new muscle mass so here we go let's do four more on the side three two and one exhale let it go tap it out a little now you're gonna extend your bottom leg long plant that top foot on the floor flex the bottom foot and you're gonna lift with the heel and bring it down up and down good lift and lower, up, down. Hi. Oh, hi, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, let it go. We're gonna turn to the other side here. Now on that last move, if you wanna challenge yourself a little more on this side, I'll show you a way to do that. Straighten out here a bit. So coming back down, we're gonna start with the clam on this side, so heels together, knees are bent, just relax. Little mermaid action and open and close. Squeeze the core, lift. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> it's nice to see your face. <laughs> Ooh, thanks. And up. Yeah, why is that? I think because we just worked that bottom leg. So you're like, ooh, it already got a little warm up. Are you guys feeling the same? I think so at home. I know you are. Lift. Woo. I'm kind of wishing I had one of those light bands now. <laughs> uh, at least I didn't go heavy. I got you. Up and down. Let's do four, three, two, and one, let it go, tap it out. Okay, so on the first side, we just extended that leg to lift. You can totally do that, and I want you to keep it even on both sides for this first round, but if you're starting to feel strong with those inner thighs, bring it down to the ankle. I'm gonna show you this move during this one. Girls, stay here, and it's gonna make it a little bit harder. You're gonna lift, lift it up, and tap. Lift and tap, good, up and down. Really flex through that foot. So it just changes the work a little bit depending on where it is on the leg. Squeeze. How's this side feeling? Okay, good, cool. It's good, you get a little warm up in, and then you guys know I'm always like three more rounds, total of four. So by two, you're good. <laughs> up and tap. Let's go four more. Three, two, 
And one exhale, let it go. Shake out those legs. We're gonna take the band off. Set it off to the side. You are gonna use it again. And let's turn to your left. We're gonna move into a lunge with a big grand plie. So this is a bar boot camp. You're gonna do some of those basics. You don't even need the bar, but you're gonna feel it. So you're gonna step back into the lunge with your right leg to start. Hips are forward. You're gonna lunge and then open your arms up and come into a big grand plie. So your heels are in, your toes are pointed out. You're gonna sit low, chest lifted, and then close it up to the lunge. Arms in front as if you're reaching toward a bar. Open up, pivot and rotate and open. So this is really gonna hit those inner thighs. And then when you open, not only do you get the inner thighs, you get the outer thighs. In your lunge, you get some quad. So really working all the way around. Good. And open. Let's go four on this side. Three, two, and one. Open it up, turn it around. Right? So I'm giving you a little taste, a little warm up. So you're gonna start in that lunge and open up. Sit low. Lunge and open. Good. You take these fast or slow. In and out. Four more. Four. You got this. Three. Two. Last one. Open up. Exhale, let it go, fold forward, shake it out. Shake your booty at your friend. <laughs> or at the pool. Toe taps are next, so grab that band. We're gonna bring it just about at the ankle, slightly above. And you guys are doing a lot of stuff one side at a time. It does make it a bit harder. You have to really work into that side. So we're gonna turn to the side again so you guys can see what's happening. You're gonna step forward, enough to create resistance. Tap your toe. Little bend in the standing leg. You're gonna tap it to the right, tap it behind. Then we're gonna go to the front again. To the front, to the side, to the back. To the front, side, back. Core is tight. All right, now we're gonna add on a little lift behind. So we go front, side, back, squeeze the butt, lift. Front side, back, and lift. Front, side, back, squeeze. Are you feeling, I know, the standing leg, yeah? Standing leg gets it. Up, front, side, back, squeeze and lift. Front, side, back, four more, four. Yeah, and it needs to be, right? Otherwise you're gonna be like, woo! Let's do one more here. And lift, come to standing. Let's turn to the side. You're gonna find a little squat. Lean over to your left, flex that foot. You're gonna lift up, tap, lift, tap, out. Getting that outer thigh and that sandy leg is gonna be like, whoo, what's happening? Fiery, like nobody's business. Eight, seven, six. Again, control, don't let it flail down. Three, two, one, pedal it out. Ah. <laughs> Okay, we have one more side though, sorry. <laughs> so turning this way, we got those toe taps. So a little bend in that standing leg, hinging forward slightly, core locked in tight. We tap front, side, back, front, side, back. Good. You can make this as like, uh, 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 rigid, or fluid and dancer, whatever you're feeling in the moment. Let's add the lift this round. Lift it up, front side, back, lift, front, side, back, up, good. <laughs> good, do it. Oh, thanks. Aren't they the best? I absolutely love them. And seriously, what they add to the workout is a little bit crazy. <laughs> Four more. So without them, you are still gonna feel this, but oh my gosh, do you feel it with them. Last one, and lift, turn to the front, lean to your right, get that support down. We're gonna flex that foot and lift, tap. Again, imagine you're moving through mud, so even if you're going fast, you're moving down with control, not letting that band just pull you back. 
up, up. Oh. Yeah, I'm smiling through the pain. I got you guys. Let's go for four, three, two, and last one, pedal it out. Woo! Those outer thighs, that outer booty. So good. I right, have one more move. So let's get rid of the band. This one, we kind of were here. Just throw it at me, why don't you? <laughs> this one is kind of somewhere we've been, so we're in that big grand plie. But we're gonna just take it to a squat for now. You can bring your hands on your side. You can bring them out to the side. Whatever you feel like. We're gonna take it down and up just to start. And up. As you're squatting, push your knees open. If you wanna make this even harder, you could put that booty band right here. Right, yeah. I wanted to give you guys like a mellow moment. In and out. Push those knees. Your weight is in your heels and the outside of your foot. Push it out. For four, three, two, hold it down on one, hold it here. Now knees are gonna pop back, back, back. You can pop those shoulders too. Hey, pop it, pop. Good, really working on those outer thighs. Your inner thighs are still engaged. It does, yeah. Put on some jams. Yeah, April sweat jams. Pop, pop. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold it on one, hold it, sit lower. Sit lower, lift your heels, hold it, hold it, shaking, good, good, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let it go. Woo, Woo. nice job, ladies. Shake it out, shake it out. All right, so give your legs like a moment to recover after that. Yes. But I do want you to try to do this three more times for a total of four rounds. That'll give you a full out inner and outer thigh leg burner. You might have a little like stumbling happening tomorrow because you're like, what just happened? I'm jello, but that is a good thing. You will recover. Make sure you check out all our recovery tips on lovesweatfitness.com. And don't forget, good things happen to those who sweat. So see you guys next week for another awesome workout. Bye.